Hello and welcome to another Entrepreneurial Secret. My name is Duong Lucas Sr. and I'm the creator of the Fighting the Bear training series and founder of HelpingEntrepreneurs.com, where I help entrepreneurs from concept to creation in all the four phases of business. So it doesn't matter if you're a butcher, a baker, or a candlestick maker. Haven't started yet, been in business for two days or two decades. I believe that everyone could use some help. This entrepreneurial secret is made available by TheClientTracker.com. The Client Tracker helps you keep track of the most important part of your business, the client. You now have unlimited customer tracking, customer notes, appointments, payment posting, user level access, check in and check out, and much more. You have secure access to information 24 hours a day that can help your business grow. Get all the benefits starting at less than a dollar a day with a 100% money back guarantee. The Client Tracker, the official software of successful small businesses. Available at www.theclienttracker.com. Welcome to Entrepreneurial Secret number 12. Every plan works perfect on paper. Being an entrepreneur is like being a professional athlete or coach for a professional team. Once all the assets are in place, you need a game plan or several plans to win. In professional sports, you may have a playbook containing all the strategies necessary to win. It includes what each position, not necessarily person, will be doing once the play is in motion. In business, this playbook is usually the business plan. It contains all the plans or theories that the entrepreneur has put down to direct his or her action towards success. Like sports, the plan works every time on paper. Again, like sports, when it's tested in the real world, results are not exactly as planned. The secret is to know that it's all theory and assumptions. It doesn't matter how well you plan things out. Life is unpredictable. There has been many entrepreneurs that have followed their business plans out of business. The business plan serves a very valuable purpose and sometimes more than one, but being an unchangeable law shouldn't be one of those. It doesn't matter even if it's an existing successful business gives you their business plan. It still must be adjusted for your current condition. Even identical twins are not completely identical. Use the business plan as a guide for direction, not as a prison guard to hold you in. If you created the business plan, and I hope you did, you have the right to change whatever's not working. Since the time it was created, the market, political, and social conditions may have changed, making many of the assumptions invalid. In my opinion, the most important purpose of a business plan is to help you get a clear understanding of what you're about to undertake and what's required to make it happen. I can't tell you how many times I've talked to new entrepreneurs who had no idea who their customers were. And no, everyone is not your customer. Or had no idea what it would cost them to start and sustain their business. Even worse, they confuse gross sales with net profits. Like the story of the two brothers who bought apples for 15 cents each and were selling them off the back of their truck for 20 cents each and constantly were wondering why they didn't make any money. They didn't realize even though they purchased them for 15 cents each, they actually cost them 25 cents each. Their solution, like many new entrepreneurs, they bought a bigger truck to sell more apples. They figured they'd make money eventually. When to ignore the business plan? The simple answer is when it's not working. The professional athlete and the professional entrepreneur have trained themselves to look for the signs. They recognize quickly when things are not going according to plan and adjust. They don't stick to plans that are not working. This goes especially for those who have their business plan written for them. Just because it's written doesn't make it law. Always be involved in the creation of your business plan. The only time this may not be necessary if you're buying a successful franchise. Otherwise, know your business. For more details on how to write a business plan, listen for Power Pack, Writing a Business Plan in the Sand, How to Write a Solid Yet Fluid Business Plan That Works. I hope you enjoyed this entrepreneurial secret. If you have any comments or business related topics you'd like for me to discuss, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible and possibly feature you and your comment in a future post. If this was helpful to you, by all means, like it and share it with your friends. You can connect with me on most social media sites, including Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Amazon.com. 
Be sure to check out the website at www.helpingentrepreneurs.com or dewonglucas.com. This has been Dewang Lucas Sr. with HelpingEntrepreneurs.com. So let's get connected and stay connected and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening.